friends. It's budget day, but I'm not going to do a whole video on my budget. But that's what I'm doing this morning, and the budget that I've come up with finally works really great. So anyway, uh, I had to pay some bills, and I had a couple receipts in my purse, and I've been writing everything down on a calendar. And I'll just show you briefly of what I do. Write it all in September, everything on the calendar. I uh, add up each week as I pay, and at the end of the month I add that up. And then I uh, write down all my bills on this page and what I have to pay and what I'm saving down here. So that's what I'm doing this morning. And of course, I had my morning coffee with that. But anyway, I um, wanted to talk about a couple different things. One of the things I wanted to talk about was uh, yesterday I cleaned up my kitchen and I did do a little bit of deep cleaning for lack of a better word, but um, I just wanted to address that for me, everything takes me a long time to do. So, and I know a lot of other people have the same problem. I have um, arthritis in my back. I broke a vertebrae back there about, oh, it must have been about five years ago, and it's never really come back. And then two years after that, I broke my hip. So my mobility has really gone down, and I also have fibromyalgia, which uh, now it's it's like it used to kick up every now and then, but now it's like a dull toothache all the time. But I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to be a little um, motivating here for other people that have the same issues. I don't take any medication for it most of the time. When it really flares up bad, I do take uh, naproxen. I don't like taking drugs. I do take some supplements. Um, but for my condition, I really haven't found any supplements that have really helped much. So, um, you know, if you guys found something, let me know in the comments below because uh, I do like to try different things. But, and I know I'm not exercising as much as I should. In fact, I've become very sedentary since uh, all this happened. And I know that's not the right thing to do. So, and I've gotten spurts where I will exercise. I have an exercise room in my basement. I have a treadmill down there and I have um, uh, an elliptical and, you know, different pieces of equipment that I've had for years and years. I bought all that when I worked and I made good money. I couldn't afford to do that now, but I'm glad I kept that stuff because I I can go in my basement and, and do a little exercise. And I do periodically. Um, I have a TV set up down there and, you know, I can get Netflix or I can, um, um, I can get my uh, direct TV down there and watch my shows. So it does make the time go a little faster. But... Um, Anyway, what I wanted to say was, so yesterday, a project that normally would have taken me less than an hour, it took me all day. But I did get it done, and I'm happy about that. And so I just want to say, don't give up. Don't give up. Just do what you can. Go rest in between, and then do a little more. Um, but I got really far behind after I broke my hip. And then, of course, I have the three dogs, and they do make a lot of mess. Um, at the time, I also had two cats. One of them has passed away, 
And the other one my son took because my dog started to chase her around and he has uh, three other cats and so he said he would he would take her and I really miss her but I didn't want anything bad to happen to her so um, she lives with my son but anyway having the animals which I love and I, I wouldn't even consider not having my animals but they do make a lot of dirt a lot of hair they shed you know they uh, in the fall when it rains in the spring they drag in mud so um, that makes a lot of extra work too but it's something that you know that's not going to change for me so anyway um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and uh, try and encourage people not to not to give up you know just do what you can do and what you can't do let it go to another day and in, in that process you're kind of constantly doing a little something all the time it's not like I can't go on a Saturday and clean my whole house anymore I just can't do that my body won't let me so um, but you know if, if you clean a room and it takes you two days then so what you know it doesn't matter but um, I just want to encourage you to keep going don't give up so anyway enough about that subject something else I wanted to talk about a couple of my viewers now have asked me about my diet and I don't really diet I haven't dieted in years and years um, I've always been fortunate and very active so I never had an issue with my weight but since I have become more sedentary I've put on a couple pounds too but I still eat the same way that I've always eaten my whole life except I don't eat as much first of all I'm not as hungry because I don't move around as much and I don't burn as much fuel and secondly it's always served me well uh, my whole life so usually what I do when I get up in the morning the first thing I do is I have my coffee with my cream and I use the bad creamer but I like it I like the Hershey's um, International Delight flavor and it's uh, got obviously some chocolate in it and it's tasty and I drink decaf coffee so um, I, I buy a couple of containers of the decaf coffee uh, at the store that carries them here in my area and um, I don't have to go shopping for coffee for a whole month I do the same thing with my creamers I buy the big bottles and it, that lasts me a month too so that's the first thing I do and then um, so I get up about 7 30 I just wake up naturally I'm, I'm not one to set my alarm I don't I don't go to bed at the same time every night but you know by then my dogs need to go out so I get up about 7 30 <clears throat> and then between 10 and 11 I usually will have some breakfast now sometimes it's breakfast food and sometimes it's a sandwich I like bread for breakfast and I make my own homemade bread now so it's it's delicious and tasty so that's usually what I have I have a couple slices of bread sometimes I have an egg or two with it or um, I have some uh, vegan sausage patties that I made that I'll have with it or I will eat eggs and cheese uh, but I usually buy the vegan cheese I don't normally buy dairy cheese unless I'm having company or if I'm out somewhere and a dish has cheese in it then I will eat that or if I'm out you know somewhere and they put cheese on a salad I'll eat that too but I really don't eat much dairy I don't eat dairy yogurt and I don't eat um, I don't drink dairy milk um, because I don't really like cereal a whole lot every once in a while I might have some oatmeal but I'll use one of the nut milks whatever I have available whether that's soy or almond or cashew or you know whatever I, I have 
So that's what I do around between 10 and 11. Uh, I don't really eat lunch. Um, sometimes, um, now I don't have a big sweet tooth. I'm a salt lover. I like salt. I try not to go too crazy with it, but I like savory better than sweet. So I will, uh, every once in a while, I'll get um, uh, in the mood where I would like a little something sweet with some coffee in the afternoon. So that would usually be, um, I'll have a little bit of chocolate with nuts. Now I do like milk chocolate better than I like um, dark chocolate, but um, I don't eat the whole bar. You know, a bar this big, uh, they usually come in little sections and I'll have a section of that with a cup of coffee and that's plenty for me. But I don't do that very often anymore. I used to do it more often, like maybe three or four times a week. But now I maybe once or twice a week I'll do that. But normally I, I don't. I just don't have a desire for it, so I don't eat it. So then um, sometimes around three o'clock um, I get a little bit hungry and if I do I'll maybe have a couple of uh, the pretzel rod sticks or one pretzel rod sticks and I like to get hummus um, so I'll have that or if I happen to have a little bit of guacamole left um, I'll have some of that because I do like to have avocado and tomato toast it's one of my favorite breakfasts um, and then sometimes I have a little bit of, of the uh, I make it into like a guacamole rather than just slices. So I'll have a little bit of that with some um, multi-grain uh, chips, but not very often. You know, maybe maybe three times a week. It depends. So usually then I will have my dinner anywhere between four and six o'clock. I try not to you know, if I have a snack, I won't eat until six o'clock. If I don't have a snack, then I try to wait till 4.30 at least. But normally I eat between five and 5.30. That's the time I get hungry. And I make a, a dinner for myself or I have a freezer meal that I've made, you know, uh, in portions that I've put in the freezer from food I've cooked before in case I don't feel like cooking. And I never run out and get fast food for myself. The only time I eat that is um, maybe if I have the grandkids um, and, uh, you know, we go out and have a bite to eat, but not that often either. So, um, but that's mainly what I do. And then after I eat my dinner, I'm not hungry anymore. I don't really snack at night. Uh, very rarely, maybe once or twice a month, it's like, eh, I'm a little bit hungry. But I will have, you know, I have this uh, bubba cup that I talk about all the time, and I do fill that up with either my tea or um, uh, some water enhancer, and I do drink this at night while I'm sitting and watching television because that's what I like to do around, oh, maybe eight o'clock, nine o'clock, sometimes I'll turn on the TV. And then I go upstairs later and watch a little more TV until I fall asleep. So that's pretty much my basic eating pattern. And I didn't even realize until it became a thing now that what I did naturally was intermittent fasting because I didn't eat from you know, let's say five in the afternoon all the way till 10 o'clock the next morning. But I just naturally ate that way. So for me, that's, that's not an effort and it's my lifestyle and it's how I eat. And um, so I just wanted to address that because I did have a couple people ask me about that. So anyway, today I think uh, I'm going to I still need to do my kitchen floor because the rest of it took me, like I said, all day instead of an hour. 
but that's okay. It still feels good to get it done, you know. So today I'm just going to do the floor. It needs to be washed. And I'm going to work on my dining room a little bit. I have um, a bunch of stuff on the table there because I need to repot some orchids. And so I have um, new pots for them and I just haven't gotten around to it. And I also want to put together a uh, little cabinet. I want to switch things around. I mean, it's, it's like a little three, three tier shelf thing that you can put those um, those cloth things in, you know, anyway. Um, so I'm going to work on that, and that'll probably take me at least two days, and like I said, it probably would have taken me no, no more than a couple hours to do all that, but I know I can't do it, and I, I'm not going to get angry with myself. I'm just going to go with the flow and do what I can do. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and have a little chat. And that's really all I have today. If you have any questions, leave me a um, question below. And uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about real quick here was um, Life with Patty did a, um, a question thing. And uh, I said I would do it too. And it's about... Um, do you have any questions for me about, you know, my life, my lifestyle, um, what I like, what I do? If you do, if you have some questions and, you know, people leave me comments below, then I will answer your questions. Uh, hopefully they won't be too personal, but I will try and answer those to the best of my ability without involving other people in my life. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Go have some fun. Uh, enjoy your life. I wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. And as always, I'll see you later.